Welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss the CWP User Panel Auto SSL module. To access the Auto SSL module, you can either go to the left sidebar and click Domains Auto SSL, or from the dashboard, you can scroll down to the Domains section and click on Auto SSL. This opens the Auto SSL Manager module. The use of SSL technology is the basis of secure connections on the internet and is fundamental to protecting information when communications are made between the parties involved. This makes it an essential part of e-commerce and many other applications. In the table below, we can see a list of our installed certificates. If we have many installed certificates, we can use the search function to narrow it down. Within the table, we can sort by domain, additional SANs, expiration date, and we also have a variety of actions. By hovering over the info icon on the expiration date, we can see how many days are left on this certificate. When you install a new certificate, the default expiry is 89 days. By default, CWP will automatically renew this certificate when it reaches 30 days expiry. If you choose to renew the certificate manually, you can click the Renew Now button. We can also test our SSL certificate using SSL Shopper, GeoCerts, Qualys SSL Labs, or SSL Certi. And that will open a third-party SSL certificate checker in a new browser tab. Additionally, by clicking the Info button, we can display a menu with different options, including the certificate information, as well as the SSL certificate file, the SSL certificate key file, and the SSL certificate chain file. And we also have the option to delete. Notice that there is no edit action here. If we want to make any changes to this SSL certificate, we'll need to install a new one because each SSL is issued separately. Any changes require a new certificate because that is an encoded code. So if we wanted to add additional SANs, we would delete this certificate. And we'll create a new one. So first, we'll choose our domain. And CWP validates. Then we'll add our additional SANs. Mail can be used for STMP, POP3, IMAP, and HTTPS webmail. Webmail is only used for HTTP webmail. And cPanel is HTTPS only for the user panel access, and no port is needed, for example, 2083 and then install the certificate. And we'll see the success dialog that our operation is a success and our newly installed certificate will be shown here in the table along with the SANs that we added. Now you may see in some of your domains or subdomains when CWP validates an error like this, that the DNS of the domain doesn't point to this server. If you're using a DNS server outside of CWP, then you'll need to have those DNS for those subdomains pointed to the CWP server. For example, if you have a domain with GoDaddy and the DNS is also with GoDaddy, then you'll need to point the subdomains and domain to a CWP server. Or you can also change the DNS to the CWP server so that CWP DNS is in use. You can manage all of these decisions per domain, and each user can do it however they want. For more information, please refer to the Control Web Panel User Guide on AutoSSL. Thanks very much for watching.